hey, uh, I just wanted y'all to know that I don't like the whole debate thing. I don't like going back and forth against heated uh, disagreements, arguments, discussions, whatever. I'm not wired to do that. I don't like it. So when you come for me in the comments and you want me to answer all your little questions, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. But like, why when there's a rainbow, it's, it's shaped like that and not like straight up, right? Because if we're going around and around, shouldn't the rainbow be up there? Why is it that the sun sets in the same place every day I did you? Why do multiple pilots come out and say that they don't ever see curvature? Why does the Bible mention the firmament so much? If you believe in some of the lies of the government, why why wouldn't you believe that? Why wouldn't this be true as well? You know, answer me that. I don't, there's some people that are like, oh yeah, the government lied, but they didn't lie about NASA. They went to the moon. Um, so the earth is a globe. How is that the only thing that's actually true? Like, make that it makes sense. We all matter on a flat earth. On a globe earth, you don't mean squat. And why do we ridicule each other for believing what we believe? Why are you gonna ridicule me because I think that the earth is shaped differently? Why am I a psycho for thinking such things? Who told you that I was a psycho? Oh, your beautiful, go your beautiful government? Oh yeah, that's who the hell it was. As far as I know, at this very second, we are still enti entitled to our own opinions. So let us have them. And bye bye now. Okay, so I don't really drink that much anymore, but um, just give me this one time. I want to raise a glass, lift my crystal to the conspiracy theorists. There has never been a better time for a person who questions everything. And honey, it's been a hard couple years for us. I've argued with family, I've lost friends. I've got people telling me that they're gonna put me on their prayer list. And yet we were right about so much shit. And I don't know what's happening in your inboxes, but mine are not exactly flooded with people apologizing to me for calling me all sorts of awful things. There's nothing in that Hunter Biden laptop. There's nothing there. The world isn't run by schmetophiles. That would be crazy. There wouldn't be like a whole island dedicated to it with like a temple that like presidents had been to and like a bunch of celebrities. That would be insanity. Those towers absolutely collapsed exactly how towers would collapse if they were only hit by an airplane. That's how towers collapse. So my question for anyone who has stuck around through this whole thing is, when are we going to Antarctica? Like, when are we all just, all of, all of us, all the conspiracy people just rolling up to Antarctica? We might have to have, you know, an arsenal. <laughs> but like, when are we going and when are we finding out what's going on with that ice wall? Bro, we live in the dome, man. Check this video out. We live in the dome. Check it out. I'm going to show you why Thunder proves the dome above us. I don't care how many times Elon Musk, NASA, or any scientist that creates rockets tries to penetrate God's creation, the firmament, they will not be successful. Take a look at the latest launch from September 24th, 2022. It did not penetrate, and you will see
thunder needs to hit a solid object to occur. You can't have a thunder without a starting point. This is easy to demonstrate. Here is a good example of what I mean. I first bring out my Van de Graaff generator, then fill a bottle with water. I then place that on top of the Van de Graaff generator. I turn the Van de Graaff on, and this happens. The sound of the thunder proves that there is a dome above us, because thunder doesn't produce multiple explosions, rather it produces one explosion sound. They call the thunder sound a thunderclap. This is because it sounds like a clap, but that clap has echo to it which make it sound like multiple sounds. In order to have an echo you'll need to be inside a closed area, because sound waves needs to hit an object for an echo to occur. Here is a video of a guy blowing a balloon inside a nuclear power plant. When slowed down it sounds just like thunder. Light travels much faster than sound waves. That's why we see lighting occurs before the thunder sound. There are so many evidence for the dome. Sun dogs, rainbows, thunder are some of the ones that prove the firmament above us. The earth is flat, closed and stationary. Space is fake. Thank you for watching. Please share this video so more people know about this. Hi guys. So people said you can't find a flat earth. Well, guess what? I did. I'm just walking on the edge of the flat earth. Here is Australia. Here is New Zealand. And all the little islands. And this is the ocean. And I'm walking across. I'm walking across to going to... South America, North America and Canada, and then I'm going to Africa, yeah. and I'm just walking on the edge of the earth, how awesome is that, there is Europe, there is Africa, there is everything, Russia, China, I think it's Madagascar, little islands so here we go that's how you walk around the earth even if it's blue or maybe perhaps it's a flat one and back to Perth back to Australia here it is in Sydney Darling Park see ya maybe the journey is not about becoming someone or something maybe the best part of the journey is unbecoming everything that you've been taught to be. Oh, baby, I hope you discover who you are. Start to question things. Start to trust your intuition. Start to talk to your creator. Start to do research. But most of all, follow your heart. God bless you. Hi there. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about how the Bible tells us that we live on a flat earth and we don't live on a globe uh, spinning throughout space going half a million miles per hour. We actually live right here on this stationary earth and the Bible tells you in many different ways and I'm going to explain some of those right here um, starting in Job. As you can see here in Job 38:14, it tells you that the earth takes form like clay under a seal and stands out like a garment. Now, this is the uh, New King James Version, um, and before we start the debate on there's many different versions of the Bible and many different translations, uh, that is actually true, but you can look up the many different translations yourself. I'll show you the popular ones right here to show you that all versions basically say the same exact thing. This is the uh, New American Standard Bible. 
This is the King James Version. And this is the New International Version. And uh, if you guys don't understand what this verse is talking about here, you can see here, this is what they would call a seal. And this is your clay or wax. And it's what kings and people used to use to seal letters and things like that. And as you can see, this seal right here, after it's pressed down on, it would have a raised edge, which would be the ice wall. And the antlers that you see here in the letter R would be like the land because it's raised slightly higher. And then all the low places in there would actually be your oceans where your water is and as you can see the raised edge being the ice wall it makes much more sense of how the ocean and the water is held in because you know no matter how you try to do it um, water can't stick to a ball um, gravity can't stick it to a ball you can't make it happen on earth in any way shape or form water always has to be in a bowl and water always finds its level and you'll hear many of us say that but uh, there's actually verses that back this up and I'm gonna read you one right here Going back to Job chapter 8, verses 8 through 11, it says, Who shut up the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness, when I fixed limits for it and set its doors and bars in place, when I said, This far may you come and no farther. Here is where your proud waves halt. You know, that's obviously describing a wall or a barrier, a physical barrier of some sort, not gravity holding water onto a ball like i said you can't repeat this in any way shape or form on earth as we live today you cannot repeat it and as i said before we don't want to argue we just want to help you these people that feed you these lies make millions of dollars a year to feed you these lies we go out of our way get ridiculed get talked about get made fun of for our beliefs and trying to share them with you but you're believing these people who have all this stuff to gain and you call me crazy